All right. Hi, and welcome back to Pinchy House Garage. We're here, and we're going to show you guys how to wrap your headliner. So now, once you've chosen a fabric, and you've gotten all your glue uh, pretty much removed, next step is to measure and cut your fabric. All right, Steve, let's get this going. Now, all fabrics have a different type of uh, top and bottom to them. So what we want to do is look at the material on both sides and see which side looks the best and not as fuzzy. So it looks like this is going to be your top. If you're going to lay it over your headliner. And then pretty much pull it forward and center it. Do the best you can to center it as much as the headliner as you, uh, or the fabric as you can because you want to see where the middle is. It looks like we're going to make this the center. So. By doing so, make sure you push everything down, make it nice and smooth as best you can. And what you want to do is give every side some slack. So you'll see here slack, slack that. So when you start getting into the grooves where your handles are, you can pull up on the slack and push into it and give yourself uh, more stretching or more material so you can... Um, push into those areas. The hardest part of this process will be where your control panel is at and you want to pull that out of the way and then push it down a little bit just like that. And you'll see this is the part where you need stretchy material because here in these little grooves depending on the glue that you guys buy might give you the ability to stretch a lot or not enough. And that's it. Pretty much that's where we're at. We give about an inch of slack on the end here and we're going to cut about that much off as well. So here you go Steve, give you the honors. This is yours by the way. You lay this down here and then cut I'd say, like, right down that red line, right yeah. Now make sure you get yourself a really nice set of scissors that cut really, really well and straight and don't fray the material. The glue that we're going to be using is made by 3M, is this right here. 3M High Strength 90. This is contact adhesive. This is probably the strongest stuff you can buy. It's about 14 bucks a can, and we got it at uh, at Home Depot. I love this stuff. This stuff dries almost on contact, so when you lay your fabric down, it's strong. You don't have to wait for it to dry. It's ready to lay and stretch and pull, and you can actually re-pull and stretch. That way, you need to get those uh, grooves in really nicely. So, highly recommend this adhesive. Get this, guys. Get two cans. You might not use two cans, but just get it just in case. If you don't use it, return the other one. So now that Steve has cut the material, yeah, it's creased, so we'll, what we'll end up doing, um, I'll show you. Um, so now that he's cut it and gave himself a good straight line, we know now where the middle, middle is here. If we leave this alone right now, you're good. This is how we're going to lay it down. So what you want to do is we're going to show you how to do it without the adhesive first and then we'll do it afterwards with adhesive so you guys can see what we do so you guys can repeat the process. So the first thing is you want to fold this back in half. Leave that side alone. With two people. It's the best way with two people. You want to fold it back just like this about halfway. Right there, we're good there. 
Make sure your lines are straight. Just like that. And what you're going to do, you're going to spray your glue left and right. Not up and down, but left and right. Just like that. Spray, spray, spray. And then with both of you, pick up the corners. And you're going to put your hands right behind it, underneath. And you're going to ease it in like this. Like, kind of like scrubbing it in. Ease it in, ease it in. Just like that. Rubbing. Constantly. Making sure you're giving yourself a flat surface the entire time. Flat. Don't give yourself any bubbles, any wrinkles. So lightly handed, push down on the material. All the way down till you get to the end. And then... If you, if you get a cre uh, like a crease or, uh, or like a bubble, pull back on the material, both of you guys at the same time, and then go back and rub it back down, just like that. Because if you don't, what's going to happen is that the areas that, that you mess up or get a crinkle or a wrinkle or something like that, you're going you're gonna to notice it. And it's going to stay that way forever, pretty much. So that's the process for wrapping it. And then we're going to show you actually how to do it with the spray adhesive uh, in just a minute. <laughs> Alright, so now we're actually going to do this for reals now. So same thing we said before, pull this back. Stop about right there, right after the handles. Just stop right there. Pull your fabric as straight as possible. And now spray now don't spray onto the fabric you want to spray around here around the edges we're gonna do this side last so down the middle first and then we'll do the edges last so Now what you want to do is wait till the fab, uh, the glue kind of lightens up a bit more so you can see if you miss any spots and you just lay another coat on there. But don't make it too heavy because if you do, what happens when you lay the fabric on it, it'll soak through the fabric and stain it. So give it a second, let it dry for a second because once the, the drier it gets, the stickier the glue gets. So once you once you set it, that's it. You got a one-time deal. So so uh, while this is waiting, you want to pull the corners. Have your corner pulled, my corner pulled, not too hard. And we want to pull up. And then put your hand, like I said, back here, and start from the middle and work your way out. So ready? Yeah, go for it. Just work. We'll go from the middle. That's not going to go away because we didn't glue that area. Oh, yeah. Straight enough? Straight as we can get it. I see it's trying to yeah, it's a curve. curve over that way. We pull it up. Right there, hold it there. Right there. Oh.
So once you've laid it down, give it a good passing like that and see what does and doesn't stick. Oh, this glue is not sticking. What the heck? The back, pull back. Waited too long, yeah. So pull All the way back? How far? Oh. Just try it with a little bit of wetness to it. Now don't push into it, you just want to slide your hand over. We might have to redo some of the adhesive because it looks like uh, we waited just a bit too long to stick to it. So, gotta give it about a minute or two to adhere now once we've already done it. So where you laid the other glue on this side, once it starts to grab, let, don't, don't pull anymore. So we're going to lay glue here and here. And we're going to stop about uh, right past the handle. All over my phone. <laughs> so same process, you pull up and now what we're going to do inside the handle, you want to crease that into it slowly because you want to be able to get those grooves in and nicely. And then lay it down. The lines will change because you do have to have grooves to stretch it over. So, unfortunately, like I said before, this is an upholstery material, so it's not meant to stretch very much. So your lines will change on corners. And especially in areas where you have to push into it and um, change angles. So with that side done, let's 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 uh, let this dry. Because you want this uh, to stick really well, and then work on the other side. Same process, pull up, lay it over, push right into it, but now you're here at the handle, you want to pull up and then push down, you got to give that curvature, and then So 
this one's getting a little bit of sit now. So now that you have that laid down, you're going to pull the other half back over this way until it starts to grab and snag. I pull it back more. Right there. Okay. Right there. So you have glue right there. So, so what you're going to do is from here you're going to lay down glue all the way over to, I'd say stop at the handle, right before the handle. Because we want to, like I said, do another good stretch on the handles. Watch out. <laughs> Since this glue dries off really quick, we're probably going to do a couple more layers than normal. Hmm? It's not? It's totally stronger. So we're going to stop right here, pull up, and then lay it down. That should go away with the heat now. And then work your way from the middle, left to right. Just, the yeah, just lay it over the hole, doesn't matter. Once you got it all laid, you got a kink right there. There you go. It's working really good for this headliner. Okay, now we want to pull back again. Stop right where we left off, right there. Now we're going to do the same process as before. We're going to lay glue down the middle, but we're going to stop right here, right before the control panel. So right here. So we're only going to do like the inside piece right here. And the reason for that, because once we actually start laying glue here, we got to lay from the middle out. Because if you laid it down over and then you try to stretch it over here, you're going to just ruin the flow of the material. It's going to curve a little bit inside here, but that's okay because you don't have a choice. I mean, it's the material, it's a pattern material, so it's going to do it no matter what. But we can do it with the sun visors blocking that, so at least everything will be nice and straight here until you pop open the visors and it'll curve a little bit, but you won't notice it. Now with the glue laid down, same process, pull up, work from your middle and work your way out from left to right. That's the goal, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, but hey, believe me, this is I actually think, really nice. I think, it, I think we did pretty good. Besides, you'd have to do this to notice it. Yeah. <laughs> So now we have that laid down, pull this back, pull it back into the corners, pull that over here. Oh, 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 wait, oh, wait. oh I'm sorry. I was just going to see if okay. my jacket's in here. Oh, no, it's, it's not in here. It must have left it. Okay, so now that we got everything laid down this way, now all we got left now is to do the handles. And then last is the visors and control panel area. So. So we got to spray down here. And don't go past the handle. Just kind of keep it right there towards the edge. And then so you want to start the wrap and then work your way into the corners. Don't lay the material over the corners. Work your way into them. What I mean by where it kinks. Yeah. And that's what you want. Best as, best as you can not to kink it, but. Yeah. So like right here, these corners yeah. aren't that vital because the handles bolt into here. Oh, it's going to hold it down. Exactly. All right. These corners are where it matters. Yeah, because these that's not. There's nothing being pushed onto it. So it's like right in the front here. Yep. The backs will that be pushed true. in. With the handles. So you want the most of the glue. Right the you want all this, the, the good touch right here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see you want to be soaking through this material. Which is good. Because yeah, really it'll stain the material. Watch your feet. Alright, so we're doing some, like I said, start over here, and then where the dip starts to go in, you push into it. Spoke too soon, right? <laughs> I had to say so. I don't know, just let it dry. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing the handle covers that. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you got all four handles done, the center done, the hardest part out of the whole entire wrap is actually here. And like I said before, you want to start in the middle and work your way out. So what you want to do is glue glue the middle first, right here. Once you have that all laid out, then do the last patch of glue out here.
So what you want to do first is start in the middle, follow that line, all the way to the top, and then work your corners first, right here. Push everything nice into the actual box itself, like the little shape. Try to make everything match the shape as best you can, lightly. Don't start digging into it, because what's going to happen if you dig into it, it's not going to stick and you're going to pull too hard. this corner up. Don't push, don't push. You're pulling. So now we got a now we got a bubble. Don't let that dry now. It's again it's a much easier with stretchy material. Mm-hmm. That's why I it's hit or miss when it wants to work or not work. Yeah. But see, the problem with stretchy material, if it's not headliner stretchy material, it'll stretch itself out of, out of adhesive. Uh, yeah. We did that once with hers. The whole entire door panel fell apart within four days. Okay. And it held together really nicely, but then within like a couple of days, it just fell apart. Mm -hmm. Now you just want to do the final, final area of your glue. Sorry. <laughs> and following the same process we were doing before. This last part we have to do uh, a separate layer of glue for the corners. So we leave that alone. Hit it, hit it, you mean? Yeah. Um, we have to hit it with the. Uh, you have to cut the corners. Yes. So the corner doesn't pull. Oh. And we'll show you. Thank you. <laughs> No. Alright, so this is your last corner of the uh, layer in here. Remember, start your way in, work your way out. And always trying to go left and right smoothing.
cutting for us and then she'll finish the final gluing for us too. So now that you see that the headliner is now fully wrapped, we'll show you guys close up view here. And you see here, everything's wrapped. Uh, all the holes here, you're going to want to cut through them with the box cutter. Give them like a little X mark inside. That way when you mount your handles, the screws will go right through. All four. For the uh, headlights right here, like I said, you want to cut a little X and then cut around in a circle with the blade. That way the headlights go on there and they mount really nicely. For the control panel, same thing. You want to cut in an X and then cut around in a circle. So everything that has a hole, do the best you can to cut into it, into the middle, and then work your way out. Don't try to cut on the edges because you might cut too far and then you'll end up having an ugly uh, hole where you're not supposed to have one. But that's how you wrap the headliner. Now my wife over here, she's wrapping the pillars. The pillars are pretty straightforward. You wrap and then you cut. But you cut to make it sh uh, fit the, uh, the shape of the material. Or as I mean of the pillar. So you'll see here, this is the cut. And you'll see she just wrapped it all around. We didn't take the uh, old material off because you don't need to. That stuff is on there pretty dang tight. So you don't have to worry about that. Just layer it on top of it. Uh, she uses clips to keep the glue on the corners on there. You can see here, she lays the material down based on the direction she wants the pattern to go. Glues the bottom half of it and then cuts the shape out and then wraps the rest of it. So that's how you guys are going to do it at home. There's really no wrong way to do this. Um, if you're doing plaid, try to follow the lines as best you can. That way you don't have you know lines contradicting each other going in opposite directions and it looks weird. And uh, how many yards did you buy, Steve? Four. So we did four yards uh, to do the entire car. Uh, headliner and pillars, just so you know. He has just enough left over for a little bit extra parts, but I would recommend probably four for the entire car. I would do six yards for extra material just because uh, this stuff will fade. This is not upholstery uh, material, so it does fade in the sun. So that way you can unwrap the old ones, rewrap it with new material. That way you can keep your, uh, your pillars fresh. But right now, so far, it's coming out really good. So next thing is uh, we're going to trim the upholstery around the headliner. And after the trim, we're going to do the final um, set for it. And then we'll go from there. Passenger seat. Yeah. So now, final phase. Installing your headliner. So first, let's check out how it came out. pretty good guys that's a fully uh, wrapped headliner so now what you want to do is reverse the process and how you installed it nothing changes on the install process but we're gonna walk you through it no matter what so you want to do the front first Make sure it goes over the seat. Let it sit on your uh, mirror. So you want the headliner to sit on the uh, the rear view mirror on the front. 
um, while all this is going, you can let it drop down right here. So the next thing you guys are going to want to do is first do the handles, then do the uh, front screws, and then when, once that's all done, you put your pillars in. So let's work our way over to the front of the car. Are all the handles the same? Uh, no, they all go on one, they all, they're very specific to the side. So I'm sorry that it's getting dark, but I'm just telling you what you guys need to do. You don't worry, have to worry about the lighting because you don't have to see what you guys just removed. So just make sure all the, uh, the grooves line up where you had them before. And then make sure you line up your... Uh, your holes for your handles. They do go in a very specific spot, so right there. So that's my set of handles right here. It works better if you guys have two people. Line up the first set of hand uh, holes and then have someone else um, screw in the handle. But uh, remember, every handle is very specific to each one. They all don't, they're not 100% universe, uh, universal. They actually, they're very specific to their side. The easiest way to find out is, uh, there's a little notch here. That goes to that, no, to this side. This one goes to that side. Two notches, like yeah. both inside. Yeah, but they, they're very specific to their side. Okay. So if you want to hold this up. There's really not much else I can show you guys, so while we finish this up, get to finishing installing your headliner. I'm Pinchel. That's Steve back there. Thanks for watching Pinchel's Garage and Happy modding, because we always do it. We always break, fix, and repeat.